Hi guys, my name is Jonathan. I'm from Train Mind, Body, Soul, and today's video is an overview and an introduction to resistance bands. Um, this video will be perfect if you're just getting started using resistance bands. Maybe you've picked up one of our resistance band programs. Uh, you're about to begin using these more in your training and you want to find out a bit more about the benefits and the differences between, uh, between the types um, and along with some of the attachments that I'll go through as well. So hopefully by watching this video, you'll be able to use these more effectively and get more from them. Now, a couple of years ago, resistance bands for me were the only time I would use them would be in a pull-up. So if I, was, if I had a client in the gym and they were struggling to do a pull-up with their body weight, I would use a resistance band around their knees or you know across, across the, the rack to help them get over the bar and get their first pull-up in. Um, However, over lockdown, over lockdown in the last, the last six months, I have started to use these uh, in almost every area of my training. And I've noticed some incredible results, both myself and with clients. Um, I think that in terms of the space that they take up, you can fit a whole set of bands in a wee bag like this. They're very light. Virtually, you know, you can shove them in a drawer. They, they, they take up very little room. Um, so from a practical point, point of view, very, very useful. Um, I, they haven't replaced dumbbells and kettlebells for me. However, again, for a lot of my clients, they're using these resistance bands to great success in, in programs and especially at home. So two main types of bands. You've got the loop variety here. This is the most common type. Um, now, what these are great for, again, would be things like pull-ups, big compound movements, because the, the, the wider the band, the more tension you're going to get on it. So for some of them, like this one here, they start to get quite, quite uh, well, you can get quite a lot of tension from them. If you're doing exercises like deadlifts, if you're doing exercises like rows or pull-ups, these would be uh, the go-to. So they have, a, they have their uses, and then there are exercises that are better suited to the other, the other type of band, which, is, which are these. So you've got the, the single strap, the clip on the end. Now, what the clip is for, it's for using, depends on the set that you get, all sets are different, but generally they'll come with a couple of sets of handles. These are great. Um, similar like the cable machine I've got here, I can do a lot of exercises that otherwise would be impossible without that kit. For example, I could do a chest fly. I could do a, a reverse grip, a, bar, a, a bicep curl, a lateral raise. You know, there's, there's tons of things that we can use the handles for. Um, this is an ankle strap. I actually use this, I use it both on the wrist and on the ankle. So we could do exercises like front raises or again, like lateral raises by using uh, the cuff, we could reduce some of the strain on the wrist and possibly get more out of that exercise. And also in the ankle for things like single leg hamstring curls. So cuffs are very handy as well. Most sets will come with something like this, which is a door anchor. Very, very handy. If, if the set that you've bought doesn't, doesn't have this, you can pick them up on their own for a couple of quid, um, eBay, Amazon. What these are great for, I need somewhere to put the band. So you'll see in a lot of the exercises, for example, I'm going to do a, a tricep pull down. I need the band to be up at least above uh, my head height. And if you're at home, you might have nothing at that level where you could attach a band to. So this is where this comes in. You would use, generally going to use your, your external door, um, a strong door, or if you're, if you're using your bedroom door, for example, make sure that you're using it. You're on the side where the door is shutting and the door is then pushed against the frame. Um, you can lock this over the door, shut the door, lock it if you can, and then you've got a secure point through which you can you can do these movements. Um, as always, you know you got to be safe, so make sure your environment's set up uh, correctly. But anyway, this this is what this is used for. Very very handy. Um, I think that's about everything. So I hope that video was useful, and I hope it helps you get more out of the resistance bands. Done.